blurbs, greetings, whatever, we got a PC Junior. This is an old computer indeed, and one that I don't have out too very often. Uh, released in 1983, often maligned PC Junior. <laughs> it's charming, but man, it's got a lot of setbacks. And um, one reason I don't use it too terribly often is, well, the incompatibility issues, but also its keyboard. It originally came with a keyboard that looks a lot like this, but that is not what this is. This is actually a modern recreation of the PC Junior keyboard, but it is nice and mechanical, very well built. Uh, this is the Vortex PC 66. Yeah, I've done a video, uh, a blurb on this already, just sort of giving my thoughts on using it on a modern PC, but you know, it's, it's USB. And that's all it was made for, was modern PC usage. So, <laughs> The fact that it is the right size and shape and everything else for a PC Junior but doesn't work with the PC Junior was like, oh, that's kind of a missed opportunity. It's not what it was made for, but I thought it'd be cool if it could be adapted to this. So what about the USB for VC? I've done a video on this as well. So this is a, a Pi based solution that takes a bunch of boards and adapters and converters and takes PS2 devices among other things. Uh, or sorry, the other way around. It takes USB devices or Bluetooth devices and converts them to PS2 or serial, a game port, and a bunch of other things. Again, I've done videos on this, I've done videos on this, but I thought about mixing them together, right? Uh, why not try to get this working with this working with this? Well, the problem is the PC Junior on the back looks like this. It's not PS2, it's not AT, it's nothing except PC Junior. It's just a bunch of pins. It's a terrible interface. It's annoying to deal with. <laughs> and there are converters for, um, you know, just the keyboard. But uh, I got to looking around, I'm like, oh crap, Taxilac has this thing. Look at this. Yeah, the um, PC Junior Joy slash keyboard adapter. It does more than just the keyboard, but that is what we're interested in today. The PS2 keyboard adapter right there. And yeah, it's got other stuff. It's really cool. So it takes those horrible pins on the back and just moves it over into uh, you know this here, so you can use more peripherals on your junior. And this all just kind of came together in my mind. I'm like, let's just do this. Let's just do it. So this right here goes to the junior, and then this right here connects to this with a PS2 cable, and then this right here will plug into here. <laughs> and if this works, I will be uh, impressed, and yet not at the same time, because in theory it should totally work. Like this is all. These are compatible, I think, right? I've never tested them all together, but I don't see why not. Anyway, just get it plugged in, play some crap on there if we can. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what we're doing, let's do this. I, I'm excited. All right, so USB keyboard goes, where's it go? <laughs> Over here. And then I've got the PS2 cable going out from that, and it's gonna go to our adapter. Of course, this plugs into the back of the PC Junior. These awful pin connectors on the back of this thing. There we go. Much better. And uh, now we just need some power. Ugh. All right. So this being a, you know, what it is, Raspberry Pi type of thing. We'll need to boot up, so you can see it turning on there. I'll just let it go through that and start up, and then we'll power on the Junior. All plugged in, ready to go. That is initiated, so uh, yeah, so let's just test it out. See what happens, if we get a keyboard error or what. I'm gonna test all that RAM. No error, that's a sign. Let's get to basic here and see if we can just get some. <laughs> Dude, oh, that's so cool. It just straight up works. I mean, you know, in theory it would, but yeah, who knows, it could have been some, some strangeness along the way somewhere, but I guess not.
<laughs> and now I'm just curious because there is no delete key on here. So how would we restart? Well, I remapped it to home on Windows. <laughs> so you remembered that too. Okay, dude. All right, well, let's uh, get some DOS going. This is working better than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it was just straight up working. That's great. I'm so glad that this thing actually remembers what you reconfigure or remap the uh, the keys to. Uh, I do have a question. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I was wondering about like the uh, the function keys. I need something to let me check those. Perhaps a game. Got this master blaster disc here. I don't remember if this is a booter or what. Nope, guess not. <laughs> PC Junior corruption, not quite PC compatible. This is not going to let me test it. Perhaps round 42. I don't remember. Oh, here we go. Sure. This works then. So to attack F1, F2, fire special weapon. So. Aha! Uh -huh. Sweet! So holding down function F1 or the one key, that's that. F2 is the bomb, which I just used it, I think. Uh, so obviously this is not gonna be ideal for uh, a bunch of old PC games because many of them relied on the function key uh, vertical row on the left-hand side of the IBM PC keyboard. And it was kind of an issue, you know, on the original PC Junior as well, um, just slightly aggravating the placement of it. Oh my gosh, round 42 is so obnoxious sounding, but really cool game. Anyway, this just, this just works. This is so cool. I love the fact that I can actually use this modern recreation PC Junior keyboard on a PC Junior. A little bit of a silly situation over here with the USB 4 VC. Just, nah. yeah, this is great. I... I'm really pleased. Don't remember what else is on this disc. Let's just see here. Rockets. We got a menu. Isn't it great to see things just draw on a CRT? I think it's delightful. That's pretty much all I wanted to do, uh, was just test to see if this array of contraptions, adapters, and converters would actually work, and it does. So, props to all the folks involved. <laughs> the the Texelec uh, little PCB back there converting PS2 to PC Junior, and the USB 4VC project folks for making this thing work so dang well. It continues to impress me. I am seriously wanting to grab another one of these once the uh, full thing is out, or I don't know, any revisions, because this thing is just awesome. I use it a lot. And then, yeah, the Vortex folks for making such a fine keyboard, all things considered. I mean, it's still not my favorite in terms of layout. Uh, again, you know, my previous video I've done on this goes over what I do and don't like about it. Oh crap, I almost forgot. So this is also uh, a wireless keyboard. And that's another reason I really wanted to see if I could get this PC Junior alike working on a real PC Junior because real PC Junior always had wireless infrared keyboards, right? There's a little receiver. So uh, yeah, let's just get rid of that. Switch this over into wireless. I think it's over there. <laughs> 
Dude. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it even works in wireless as it should because you know, that's just what this USB 4 VC does and then converting that to PS2 with the adapter. <laughs> oh dude, this is great. Because man, infrared is such a pain on the original PC Junior keyboards because of interference and like you have to have direct line of sight or close to it and all kinds of issues. But uh, let me see how far away I can get. All right, about 15 feet away, still working. About 25 feet away, still working. <laughs> we go downstairs. Dude. Yeah, so I am uh, content, confident in saying this is now the best PC Junior keyboard setup that you can have. Just about. I mean, you know, in terms of the fact that it matches the styling so close is so cool. Perhaps it doesn't have the exact layout. This is great. Thanks for watching this blurb. This is so cool. <laughs>